right, here we are. We're starting again. I'm going to set this for 15 minutes, see how we do. And that's supposed to be the maximum I have, but as you can see. Anyway, next question says if you want to get a loan for $31,000, buyers agreed to pay all state costs incurred by the creation of that mortgage. What is the total cost? Well, now we're getting a mortgage. We're not buying a house, we're just getting a mortgage. Maybe like putting in a swimming pool in the backyard. So we're getting a $31,000 mortgage. We're getting a $31,000 mortgage. By the way, everybody knows this is a continuation from the previous tape. This is Ron Clymer at Clymer School of Real Estate in Orlando. And uh, this is the homework at the end of the chapter. So you're getting this $31,000 mortgage. 31,000. We're going to divide that by 100. We need to buy 310 stamps because the stamps are 35 cents per 100. 310 times 35 cents. Hold on. My calculator says $108.50. I told y'all doc stamps on the note always end in zero or five. If they don't, you got the wrong answer. Now, this is a brand new mortgage. We got to buy the stamps on a brand new mortgage. We also have intangible tax. Remember the price on that? If you don't, you need to .002. .002. Times thirty-one thousand dollars. By the way, this is not a stamp; it's just a tax. And this one is sixty-two dollars. Sixty-two dollars plus a hundred and eight dollars and fifty cents comes to a hundred and seventy dollars and fifty cents. And that's the answer to question 10 there. So that's question 10. Everybody's set with that. Everybody understand that? A lot of people mess up and put something in there that doesn't need to be that. Alright, let's erase that see what we got coming up next. Man, did I tell y'all about this Zephyr Hills water? This stuff is delicious. And it gives you a nice little boost when you get kind of tired. Anyway, next question says you have a mortgage of $48,000 at 9%. Monthly principal and interest payment is $386.21. What portion of the second month's payment will apply to amortization of that mortgage? Y'all remember the formula for this? The formula is multiply, divide, Subtract, subtract, multiply, divide, subtract, subtract. Alright, first thing we're going to do is multiply the $48,000 times the interest rate, which I think was 9%. Is that right? Alright, let's try that. $48,000 times point zero nine is $4,320 per year. $4,320 per year is the annual interest. That's the annual interest that we're going to pay in a year. Well, we don't care about the annual interest. We want to know about the monthly interest. So we're going to take the $4,320 we're going to divide that by 12. Let's see what the calculator says. And we're going to get 360. So that's $360 of that payment that is monthly interest. Now, the monthly interest is $360. The monthly payment is $386.21 given in the question. That's the only way you can know the payment. It has to be given in the question. So the payment's given in the question. That's the principal and interest. That's the interest. So the principal reduction 
has to be $26.21. That's how much your loan reduces when you mail in that $386.21 payment. So we're going to take the $48,000, we're going to subtract from that $26.21. So after one payment, we got $48,000 minus $26.21. We owe $47,973.50. So after one payment, that's what we owe, $47,973.79, all right? So now, by the way, if we can do that, we can just keep that up forever. But the question says, the question says, how much of the second month's payment applies to amortization? So we're going to start with that number, $47,973.79. Times that by 0 0.09. All right, hold on, I gotta use a calculator. Times 0 0.09, and the answer is $4,317.64. So that is the interest during the next 12 months. We don't care about the next 12 months. We want to know about the next one month. So we're going to divide that by 12. And this is going to come to $359.80. I told you I got those numbers memorized. I forgot to do it, didn't I? Let's see. $4,317.64 divided by 12 equals oops 359.80 359.80 so that is the interest the second month now the payment hasn't changed in fact it's called a constant payment 386.21 minus 359.80 and the calculator says $26.41 is the amortization the second month. So the amortization the second month is $26.41. Alright, I'm erasing that. If you don't have it, hit rewind. Now the next question says, if we take the payment from the previous question, $386.21. That's called principal and interest. And the next question says, if the taxes are $840 per year, and the insurance is $176, all right, 840 divided by 12, Hold on. 840 divided by 12 is $70 a month in taxes and 176 divided by 12. 176 divided by 12 is $14 and 67 cents in insurance. So our PITI, -I, principal and interest, taxes and insurance payment is going to be 8, $8, $8, $8, $8, $8, $8, $8, $8, Everybody with me? All right. Next thing, and by the way, this next one's on the state exam, word for word, exactly the way you see it. Uh, formula for the next problem, formula for the next problem is what you made over what you paid. Now, if you, uh, if you 
watch some of my other tapes, I've already done this one, but let's go ahead and do this one. This says Barbara went out and bought three 200 foot lots for $500 per front foot. So here's the lake, here's three lots, and this lot property is $500 per foot, front foot, and she bought 600 feet of it, is that right? So 600 feet times $500 is $300,000. So what Barbara paid was $300,000, is that right? This is simple as five folks, percent of profit, what you made over what you paid. Don't overcomplicate it. She paid 300,000. This is so simple, you don't even have to know how to spell. I forgot that, somebody pointed out I did that wrong the other day. Anyway, um, she bought the lot, she paid 300,000. She turned them into six smaller lots and sold them for 62,000. $500. So she sold them for $375,000 after having bought them for $300,000. So she made $75,000. Is that right? She made $75,000 in profit. Now, by the way, if you went to a more sophisticated school than climber school, you probably learned profit over cost. Profit being a fancy word for what you made, cost being a fancy word for what you paid. What you made over what you paid. Profit over cost. Her profit was 75000 her cost was three hundred, and the calculator says 25% profit. 25% profit. Alright. Next problem says um, Warehouse measures 720 by 500, rents for 118,000 a month. What is the rent per square foot? All right, what is the rent per square foot? Rent per square foot. Rent per square foot. Rent per square foot. Does everybody know the number you say first goes in the calculator first? This question says, what is the rent per square foot. What is the rent per square foot? The number you say first goes in the calculator first. The rent is $118,000. The square feet, hold on, I gotta figure it out. Square feet is 720 times 500. So the square feet is 360,000. So we got 360,000 square feet, $118. Calculator says this right here, which is 33 cents of the choices given. By the way, if you were here in class with me live, I would admonish the class. If you miss that question and you didn't check your work, because see, when you get this answer right here, if you will time, there you go, it's a bell ringing. If you will times that by the square feet, you'll get $118. If you get a wrong answer because you had it upside down, you won't, you'll, you'll realize you got the wrong answer. Check your work. It costs $31.50 every time you take the state exam. One time is all I want you to take it. One time. Give me a call if we can help you at 407-822-3926. We're all about helping you pass the state exam.